Hi, this is Stacia, and um, I'm going to play another live training game. So I hope these are entertaining. I don't know if they are or not, but they are for me. <laughs> I like playing chess, and um, I'm trying to gain rating points. Like, I'm really trying. Um, these last few videos have all been the same night, and... Well, I was like 1641 at one point, so... I'm pretty happy to have gained back a bunch of points. Could be I'm going to lose this next game, but let's do it anyway. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play. I feel like I'm in the zone with chess right now, so let's just continue, right? Get a few more rating points before I call it a night. Um, I also fasted the entire day, and I didn't eat any food today. <laughs> but I feel fantastic. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with my new repertoire move. I really hope this isn't going to be a repeat of another game that I had tonight where I got crushed in a Queen's Gambit mainline. Queen's Gambit accepted. Well, what do you know? It's a London system. Okay, I'm going to transpose back into my old repertoire now and if e3 or knight f3 I'm gonna play c5 I don't know the theory but should I do that right away I think so okay the idea is queen b6 probably going to play queen b6 at some point Wow. I don't think that's a good move, but I guess I have to take that. I have no choice, right? So I could play queen a5 check first. So he's going to go, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what he has in mind here. Because <clears throat> I, I can't imagine that's a good move. So, bishop d7, he's going to take, and is he going to try to hold on to the pawn? Like, what is the point of this? I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm tempted to play knight d7, but I think he might try to hold on to the pawn. I guess that's the point. So I'll go e6. Well, I'll go e5, I think. Or do I go a5? a5, b5. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to try to hold on to it. I wonder if they can actually play like this. I haven't seen this um, before, this way of playing in the London system. Well, what about b3 right now? If I go b3, then there's no way they can hold on to it. I mean b6, right? Because then if b5, I take it, and I'm sorry, but that's horrible. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to combat their idea with this move. I'm feeling feisty. Okay, I don't have to worry about like any bishop b5 move. Um, so probably do I take with a a rook or do I take with Well, the rook comes with tempo, so I think we do this. Probably e5 is correct now. So 
take the center. I just can't believe this would be good for white, so I'm in complete um, disbelief right now. All right, if I check, they play C3. I'm not sure that. Yeah, and then if I go bishop a5, they go b4 and I lose. So that would be unfortunate, so I'm not going to do that. Um, bishop e7 or bishop d6? Maybe g6. I'm actually thinking about g6 because that diagonal is very weak and unless he can push e4 I don't know that feels slow let's go this way All right I can always like take the diagonal with that instead let's just castle and Okay, can I make some threats soon? That would be nice if I could. But I don't know. Probably I should just castle. So I have a center, but he has sort of a pawn majority on the queen side. Okay, if I take, he takes the queen. I take back, he takes back. That's a weak pawn. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Probably knight c5 is um, logical. It blockades the pawn. My pawn on e5 kind of corrals the um, e2 knight for now. Although that knight has a nice outpost on d5. Well, if the knight moves, then... It's kind of funny, but if I play e4 right now, then he has to move the knight. Because otherwise I play um, bishop f6, and the rook is actually trapped. But he's going to move the knight next. I think there's no question. So, you know, I could also go rook b2. It's a bit ambitious, but... to move. Okay, let's stop this first. We're just going to play chess. I'm not going for anything insane here. Yeah, knight d5 is a threat. It is already. Um, it's kind of annoying. Um, well, I might, I might go. Um, I might go rook b2. just to attack the knight and hmm. I don't like this knight coming in but okay and then at some point we have to try to win the pawn that's the main goal for us 
um, Okay, I think I'm going to play F6. I know it looks lame, but... I think I should do that. Just to create a firm structure here. Okay, so he's attacking the bishop. Um... I'm not sure I'm playing right, but I could play rookie eight. That seems so lame though. Um, let's go. And he was there, so now he's threatening that. I guess... Rook F7? Okay, if I go Rook to B8, I mean... He can play Knight E7 check. Does it do anything? No. I don't think so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and double up. And let's see what he has in mind here. Because I'm thinking king f7 next. Oh my god, I just hung my bishop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, that was unexpected. I guess it really is time for me to call it a night. Alright, but never resign. Let's make this painful for someone <laughs> hopefully him um yeah that was terrible i should resign i know i should but i'm going to play on let's um see if we can trick him somehow okay first thing i'm gonna do is i the pawn now he can check me. I'll go here. I think it's okay. All right, I'm just going to like brute force go for F2 and maybe take this. I don't know, but... Hey, if I could swindle a draw or a win. The way I view this, I know people feel differently. But the way I view it is that if you still have chances to trick your opponent, like trick them with something, then you should play on. So I'm going to continue until I don't have any tricks. <laughs> thinking about that. I was thinking, okay, but knight c3 and... Okay, let's just let's just be um insistent. Yeah. 
like, okay, if he, if he moves his rook up at all, then I checkmate him, you know? I mean, it's worth playing on a little bit and just see if he falls for anything. I'm not playing a grandmaster. I'm not playing a grandmaster, so... Um, Once again, if he decides to, you know, sack the exchange, then I win. It's checkmate. Let's just try and see if he messes up, you know. Or, you know, masters call this, like, cheapo chances. Like, or, or I think Hikaru, like, calls it, like, cheese. Because it's like, you know, you're just trying to trick them. It's not necessarily a good move. In fact, it's probably... I mean, I'm just lost no matter what, but but if they fall for it, then I win. So let's play. And this is a skill. Like, you know, if you just resign as soon as you lose a piece or anything else, then you won't develop the skill of swindling people. And every grandmaster um, knows how to do it. So I feel like maybe I want to know how. All right, what's he up to with that move? He's just tacking my rook. <coughs> he's probably going to go like C5. I mean, again, he's winning, but I'm just going to try to... I know he's like dying to play rook d8 checkmate too. I know he's dying for that, but the knight's in the way, so he can't do that. Yeah, and maybe, maybe king f8 next, you know? Maybe, maybe king f8, king e7. And we stop the threats over here. And I can just play like a lunatic. That's what I like. So, um, okay, he wants to go 97. He's going to just take my pawn, I guess. <laughs> Rook b6 is interesting. Rook b6, 97. So I think I might go king of eight. Okay, let's just do that. And now I was thinking about, um, like, if he takes the a pawn. Okay, this is very cheapo. All right, but if he takes the a pawn, I was thinking rook b7. Oh, no, not rook b7. I was thinking... Like this. Oh, he can take, he could take the knight, right? Can he take? If he takes the knight, okay. Now he can take the knight. Okay, now it's for real. He could take the knight. I was gonna get a back rank. Again. This is not real chess. It, <laughs> you know, it's just not. It's not. The computer's not going to like any of these moves I'm playing. But I'm trying to trick him. If I win um, a, a night, if I win a night, then I'm back in the game. So we're just going to keep trying it. Any crazy thing I come up with, I'm just going to play. If c5, I take it. Um, okay, he did that. Not sure why. I think he wants to check me with the rook.
Hmm. Okay, and I'm just waiting for another chance here to do something. This looks pretty bad, actually. This looks pretty bad. Oh, I like this by him. That's creative, because knight check. Well, I have this square. That'd actually be a big blunder. So let's see, you know, he might be trying to get fancy and he missteps. That could happen. This all can happen. Notice the back rank is still available. So um, if this knight does move and I move my knight, I have a potential. So he did that. So I was thinking um, king to e6. What's wrong with that? King e6, knight check. I can go here still. Check. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to do that. Hey, if I'm going to blunder a piece, like I think someone said on stream the other day, like one thing, I think it was John Bartholomew. He said, one thing you'll notice about Grandmasters, he's like, you could win material against them and the Grandmasters just never die. They just never die. So that's what I'm trying to be like here. He pushed that pawn. Why can't I take it? I'm going to take it. <laughs> I mean, my opponent already is like, why hasn't she resigned? So right here, I actually could win two knights. No, I can't. But next I'll take this if they let me. Um... I definitely, oh, he finally stopped the back rank stuff. Okay, well, I think I'll take that pawn then. Right. I've certainly made progress. So we'll, we'll chalk that up as progress. <laughs> but I'm still down a piece, so... I gotta win a knight or checkmate or something. I guess they could go pawn hunting, like maybe like Rook H8 or let's say Rook H8, H5. They could also play Rook yeah, so they did go for that. I think I'll just go h5 here. I'm not going to uh, mess around too much. Okay, now if here, he's going to go back to h8, I think.
No, I actually could win both knights now. And have knight versus rook. I kind of like that. Then I have a chance, you know, to fork. But I'm also down a pawn, so it's not, I'm still losing. <laughs> you know, there's no doubt, but I've improved my, my position a bit. Now, I bet he's going to play h4. I wonder if I should stop that with g4. I don't think so. Get the knight in the game or get the king back in the game? King first. H4. Oh, that move. Okay. Hey, let's start in a check. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably go to d5. Actually, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe this is a bad route. Yeah, if check, I have no moves. No moves, but if I go here, I got nothing. I need some tricky stuff, you know? Okay, let's just go here for now. If check, King G6. I'm going to laugh so hard if I uh, actually draw this. <laughs> I mean, already, like, okay, now they have to go there. Now there's a really nice square for my knight. How do I get it there? I would have to go here, so... Here, here, here doesn't work. So I have to go um, here, here, here. Should I do that? Let's see. kind of feel like I should. H4, I guess I'll take it. Trading pawns when you're losing is good. So I will trade. I'm acting like that's some kind of strategic win. <laughs> but I really just want to get my knight in the mix because what I want to do is fork the king and the rook. That is what I want to do. So we're going to play for cheapo chances and just... 
Well, I call it like, I'm going to hop my knight around. <laughs> I've done that a lot in Blitz games. I just, I'll be like, oh, I have a knight. I'll just hop my knight around. And then sometimes you win. Okay, interesting. I'm going to go King G7 next. The rook is already a little uncomfortable. Actually, a lot uncomfortable. Doesn't King G7 just win the rook? Yeah. So I would love if this was check, but it's just not. So, um... Let's do this. I'm just going to play around a little bit. Now, can I go knight h4? We have to calculate rook takes. I have a feeling it's fine, so I might. All right, I'm keeping that in reserve. I'm going to do this first. Hmm. So if here. This actually looks kind of good all of a sudden. Is this good for me? I think I have a pass pawn now. We'll see. Doesn't he have to move his rook away? I think so. We're going to take. Yeah, he did have to move it away. So we're going to take. We can play h3. The knight's here forever. Can't get him out. This looks fine. Maybe here. Now let's go here. Keep defense of this. Wow. Well, we went from completely hopeless to, well, now there's hope. Pass pawn is always hope. So he wants to go king h8, so I'm just going to be annoying. The king can't cannot go here, so he, he actually is walled off. Can't go to either one. Okay, so he does that. Still looking for forks. That is the name of the game. We want a fork. I mean, if I can put my king on f4, that would be really nice. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I guess it could happen. Knight g2 check, king f4. Knight g2 check, king here, h3. All right, I'm going to play h3 at some point. I don't know when, but actually I could go h3, king h4. Okay, maybe he's doing that. <laughs> I'm just playing for a draw. It's like, okay, how are you going to make progress? Okay. 
What? Hmm. Here. If check, king h6, check, back. He cannot really take it. So he might try, he might actually go into a king and pawn ending. That's what I would do. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. So, um... Yeah, he's definitely doing that. Probably is winning, actually. Rook takes, knight takes, king takes. I'm down a pawn. If that wins, it wins. At least I made him work for it. I don't see a way to stop it. So if he he's deciding if he wants to take here. So rook takes, knight takes, king takes. I guess I have king here. Oh, for draw. So now he's at, he's wondering, can he go there? Okay, if I go here, rook takes, knight takes, king takes, I come back, he goes there. Yeah, that probably is winning. So mine's Zugzwang, maybe. If I check, he takes. Um, if I go here, he takes. Check, he takes. I think you might have got me here. All right, well, fair enough, right? Survived all my craziness. I expect Rook takes h3. Takes, takes, takes. King g5. King g3. Yeah, I'm kind of in zigzagging there. Maybe not. I think it's losing, though. Down a pawn in a king upon ending. It's never a good thing. But we got to just take. And do I have some kind of crazy move here? Like, what about king h6? And if he pushes, I take it.
this here, I go here. This here, I'm gonna zigzag. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Let's just keep hoping for the best here. We're gonna keep trying. Okay, if G5 check, I take with a pawn. That actually looks quite promising for me to hold a draw, so he's not going to do that. Um, if F4, probably I just take it. F4 takes King H3. Then I would take this. The heck? So I guess if here, he's going to go here. Now what do I do? But I was thinking if here, I'll take this one. Well, you can see why I say never resign. I mean, would you ever have dreamed that a full piece advantage would turn into this? Yeah, this might even be a draw now. Pretty sure it is. God, I might even be winning. I'm not totally sure. I have three minutes to think about it. I might be winning here. Like if here, I go here. How do you defend your pawn? So that's why that move. Wow, I think I'm winning. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> And by sad, I mean awesome. It might be a draw. I don't know. But, okay, he has opposition. So it's a draw, I think. Yeah, it's a draw. But I'll try to trick him. I've tricked him a few times already. Mm-hmm. The only sad part is I'm going to lose a rating point still. One or two. Does he not know what to do? Yeah, that's the move. Okay. Now he has to play king d1. Okay, that's correct. Now I go here. I'm just going to um, give him a chance to mess this up. I think King E1 loses now. Oh my god, I think it does. He's going to have to go King D2, right? Doesn't this win? Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> I feel bad. Wow. Well,
Well, if you guys didn't believe in never resign, I hope that you do now because I should have never have won that game and somehow I just posed problems and somehow I pulled out with a win there. So I feel bad though. I know my opponent, I've been on the other side of this too, where I've just been like, oh my God, how did that happen? <laughs> but so I guess since this happened to me, it's karma, right? <laughs> I should get it back sometimes too. Um, I'm too tired to analyze this game tonight. Um, I think that one is fairly long. Yeah, 82 moves. So I hope that you um, enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more, of course. Almost back to 1700. I know it's a little bit annoying that I've been on such a roller coaster, but... I do promise that I'll be back there soon. Gained 40 rating points just tonight. So that's quite good. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.